same school, starting in the same school. We love music. We were invited to play at uh, clubs. From there, we started to be tight. You know, it should, it should tight. The most memorable performance which we had were with uh, Anne Margaret, the one who acted in the Elvis movie, Roger Moore, the James Bond guy, and the players, who were the players uh, of the 50s. They were with us at the same hotel, Hotel Malaysia Hotel. The players came down to the pub where we were playing, sang Unplug together with us there. We enjoyed ourselves then. <laughs> That's just fantastic. Uh, my favourite memory of my father would be watching him engage with the audience when he's on stage, when he's performing. I used to love, um, I would be backstage most of the time when he has concerts and events. So I would be at the back watching him talk to the audience and interact with them and like build a relationship with his audience. And you could actually see him in a way like controlling the audience because he, he was able to talk to them very, very well and things like that and they loved it. I think my father's philosophy in music is that music can touch um, people's lives and hearts and it can possibly make a difference to their lives, in their lives. Uh, and he feels that if he's able to do that with his music, with his performance, that it makes music more very, very worthwhile for him. So I carry that on with me now as a, as a musician and performer. When I was growing up, when I was a little boy, one of the first songs, in fact, probably the first song that I learned was My Lonely Heart. It was a beautiful song, you know, beautiful lyrics, simple melody. And what, was, what really got me was the haunting lead guitar solo. So, you know, even at that age, I was curious to find out which band this was, you know, and I was intrigued that it was a local band. And starting out very young in the music industry, I was very fortunate that as I grew up and got into the industry myself, a lot of these guys were still around, still very active, and, and, and still doing their, their, you know, sort of crafting their, their, their work. And I think it's great that, you know, we, we're starting to recognize some of these people who were the pioneers in the music industry, you know, and, and just like we're honoring pioneers of all kinds, I think it's great that we're recognizing music pioneers as well. So for me, Derek is but one of the many heroes of the music scene that we want to uh, acknowledge and, and say thank you to. I think that the music industry is an ever-continual learning process. So just as uh, the bands of old were always learning new things, I think the bands of today not just necessarily learn from the older bands or the, the past bands, but it's a constant learning experience. I think bands of old, what, what I uh, want to acknowledge is that they were always true to themselves. You know, they, there was no sort of formula to make a hit. If it was a good song, it was a hit, you know. And I think for the young bands and the, the emerging bands of today, I, I can see that very much so as well. You know, keep true to your craft, believe in yourself, pursue that dream and you'll get there.